Hello everybody, it's Julia Hummingbird Jewel, and I'm going to tell you a little story about reverse aging. So I lived in Colorado for three years, and when I moved there, I went from sea level to 11,000 feet. I was in Woodland Park, um, Colorado, and I was told that living in that high, dry elevation, my skin was going to get all wrinkled up and dried out. And when I was told that, first thing I always do is like, mm -mm, that is not going to happen to me. And so I actually started to talk to my skin. And I came up with a little phrase, my skin is looking younger and younger every day. And I said it so many times, I would kind of sing it. My skin is looking younger and younger every day. My skin is looking younger and younger every day. Younger, younger, younger every day. Younger, younger, younger every day. And so I would sing, and I actually do that with some of my other mantras too. But that's another topic. Anyway, it's really about your beliefs. Aging is about beliefs. Do you believe you're going to get old and wrinkled and decrepit? And that, you know, whatever age you decide in your mind, well, after 30, this is going to happen. Or after 40, this is going to happen. After 50, you know, it's all going to fall apart. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I turned 50. I was a little overweight for at the time, and I had just recently gotten a divorce, so I wasn't feeling really good about myself. And I made a decision at that point. It was kind of like that, that tipping point. Are you going to just let it go and you know give up on everything, or are you going to make a decision to really take care of your body and your health? And so I went for the latter. And I decided that I was going to have a bikini photo shoot and my 50 and fabulous bikini photo shoot, which I did. And at that point, I also, in my mind, said, well, what if I do a bikini photo shoot when I turn 60? And I did. So a lot of times, <laughs> just setting goals like that. And I remember when I was about 57 and I met this young man, I'm not sure, I think it was in the airport. And I said to him, I go, yeah, when I turn 60, I'm going to have a, a bikini photo shoot. And the look on his face was just like, he was disgusted. <laughs> like in his mind, turning 60 or a woman that was 60 would just be so old. And um, I'm almost 61 now. And I have just, you know, made that decision that I am not going to age. And of course, I'm probably going to, you know, I mean, I've talked to other people and they just scoff and laugh at me. But what if I just decide I'm going to get younger? It's really a belief. And I've been reading this beautiful book. I love to be a spiritual broker. I am not educated um, as far as a doctor, nutritionist, um, physical therapist. I mean, I really am not. I learn from books. I read voraciously and have. This book is called The Body Knows How to Stay Young, and it's by Carolyn Sutherland, and she's a medical intuitive. So she has psychic abilities, and she can kind of read people's bodies and what's wrong with them, kind of like an Edgar Cayce in, the, in a little bit. I'm going to put a link to her book in the comments because I always like to share what I'm reading and where I'm, my sources are coming from. But the singing, the skin is getting younger and younger. <laughs> And I think, how old was I then when I started out? I was 1998, and it's 2019 now. And that little song plays in the background in my subconscious brain. I programmed my subconscious brain that my skin wasn't going to get older. It was going to get younger. Now, do I use skin products? Yes. And do I take care of my health? Yes. So you can't just sing a little ditty and then, you know, um, everything's just perfectly fine. And I'm going to have a little sip of my chamomile tea. 
that's to help me sleep. <laughs> Sleep's another really important one. And um, I could do a whole video on sleeping. But when you talk to your body and your cells and you program your subconscious mind, they call that epigenetics. I didn't know that word back then. And I was just recently rereading um, uh, Jane Roberts' uh, Personal Reality. I think that's what the name of the book is. And I was really uh, amused because it talked about the fact that you don't have to age. And I thought, oh my gosh, because I read that when I was about 15 or 16. So that's probably where I got the idea from. And it wasn't like my just thought it up to tell my cells, to tell my body that I don't have to get old. But I do follow through, you know, I am uh, leading a healthy and fit life. I do work out. I do um, watch what I eat. I am on a live it. L-I-V-E dash I-T. I uh, live it. I don't like diet. Diet has the word die on it. Die in it. And do I eat sweets? Yes. Um, I try to limit it to once a week. Although lately I've kind of backpedaled a little bit. So it's probably time for me to do a three-day cleanse. And I use um, Amari for that, for the three-day cleanse. I'll put a link to, uh, for that too. It's really a, a good little three-day cleanse. I mean, anybody can do three days and it's really easy. It gives you a whole list of foods you can eat. You're never hungry. Um, but it kind of helps to kill those, uh, the candida, the sugar cravings. So, and that's always a good thing to do. I am kind of not for sugar, but I like it. And I love to have a little piece of chocolate every once in a while. And so I allow myself to do that. I'm just kind of really going to watch the sugar and really advocate. Matter of fact, um, in this book, there's a whole chapter dedicated to how to uh, stay cancer free. And she's really, you know, uh, putting emphasis on that cancer eats sugar, like it feeds off the sugar. So, and you know, things that turn into sugar, um, sorry, but alcohol, yes, it does. It turns into sugar. It's a lot of sugar and alcohol. I remember I was working out with a trainer and he was asking me about my diet and you know and I said, you know, I don't eat all that much, but I do drink my wine every night and he's like, that turns that is like pure sugar. I go, it's only 150 calories a glass. I go I was like not eating all day so I could drink wine at night. <laughs> Trying to justify because it was all about calories for me. Um, but he's like, well, did you know that sugar converts to fat? Oh, no. <laughs> well, I no longer drink alcohol, and that was a decision I made um, a long time ago. I gave that one up, but I'm not saying you have to, but I'm saying, you know, look at that. That's something you really need to look at. I'm going to end this video right now. I always like to recommend tools, and so I'm going to um, put the link to this wonderful book about the body knows how to stay young. I really want to leave you with how are you thinking about aging? What are your beliefs about how we age? Who told you that you know you were going to just get old and, and decrepit and wrinkled? That was told to us when we were really young. And when we're young, when we're from ages, I think it's 5 to 12, we are in what's called the theta brainwave state, which is the same brainwave state that you're in when you get hypnotized. So children are just taking things straight into their subconscious mind without any filters of whether it's right or wrong. So we were just programmed that, yet programmed to age. So why can't we unprogram it? <laughs> I don't think that's a word. But you can, and, and that's another tool that I have, and I can talk about that in another video is WellPoint Hypnosis Method. Uh, WellPoint Hypnosis Method is a trademarked technology uh, method uh, designed by Christina Winslow and it was just launched in 2018 and I'm the proud level 2 practitioner. But what you can do is program your subconscious mind through this hypnosis method and I've been working on my telomeres 
I've been working on my HGH. I've been working on um, cell reproduction because everybody says, oh, your telomeres, they're going to shorten as you get older and that's what causes aging. I'm like, well, okay, well then I'm just going to reprogram my body so that it doesn't. And then I hear about, well, HGH, you got to take this human growth hormone um, salve or pills or shots or injections because when you get older, your HGH levels go down. I thought, oh, why don't I just program my body to make more? And so I use uh, well point hypnosis for my reverse aging too. If you want to know anything about any of this, I always offer a 30 minute free consults on reverse aging and we can talk about your specific needs. But you can be healthy, vibrant, handsome or beautiful all the way into your 60s. So far I'm into my 60s so I can represent that and hopefully someday when I'm 70, you think I can do a bikini shoot? Are you, are you frowning over that one? <laughs> well, I saw Christy Brinkley and she was 65 and she looked gorgeous in a bikini and I thought, Christy Brinkley can do it at 65? Julia Hummingbird Jewel can do it at 65. So I'm shooting for 65 <laughs> for my bikini photo shoot. If you want to see some of my photos uh, in a bikini at 60, it's on my Facebook page. I really did do it. I, you know, I do work out. I do take care of myself, and you can too. Okay, thank you for listening, and peace out. Love to all of you. <laughs> Bye.